Now our friends from the Imagination Station are here today and we have a CSI type project going on. We're going to be extracting DNA from fruit. But why would we want to do that? Well, Amy Cress is joining <laughs> us now with the details on this. Amy, you always have a fun and exciting reason on why it usually revolves around science. Yes, this is very exciting today. You know, all living organisms have DNA. It's the, um, you know, needed for life. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to be extracting DNA from strawberries. All I didn't right. know strawberries had DNA. Right, all but living do organisms now. do. You can use strawberries, onions, peas, bananas, all kinds of fruit. So that's what we're going to be doing today, okay? Okay, you need some help from me. I do. So the first thing we're going to need to do is um, to break apart the plant matter on the outside to get to the cells on the inside. You know DNA mm -hmm. is located in the nucleus of the cell. Okay. So we got to break open this plant matter. I'm going to do that, okay. but I need you to go ahead and go to the second step. And you're going to use the dish soap, the salt, and some water to okay. make our dish soap solution. So about a half a cup of water here, yes. maybe a half a teaspoon or so of salt. Yep, exactly. Okay, I'm going to put the salt in first, and I need this dissolved, correct? Yep, you're going to dissolve the salt into the water solution there. Okay. Okay, go ahead and get that. I'll I'm mix start mashing this up. up. The... And you're going to mash the strawberries to, to actually, as you said, to get the DNA extracted from the inside of the cells. Right, so we're just breaking apart the plant matter so that the DNA can be released and um, we can get to those cells. Now the dish soap, what that's gonna do, um, just like dish soap dissolves lipids and fats on the outside of your dishes at home. Right, to get um, them clean. Right, cell membranes are made of the same type of lipids and fats. So we're gonna be dissolving those membranes to bring the DNA out. So okay. that looks good. I've Go got ahead. the salt dissolved in the water. Yeah. Now we've got just a tad of dish soap. You want this in here and then mixed. Yep, Okay. when you mix it, you wanna make sure you don't make too many bubbles in there. Okay. Okay, so looks like we got DNA or the strawberries pretty much mashed up here. You want to make sure they're pretty good. Okay, I'll give this a mix while All you right. take us into our next step. That's good. After you're done there, we're going to add the dish soap solution to our strawberries to start breaking down those okay. cell walls. Is this mix good enough here? That's perfect. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and add this over here. It smells good, right? Strawberry puree. <laughs> mm. Reminds okay. me, fresh strawberries are going to be about sprouting up this time of year. Right. Area. Okay, that's pretty good there. Okay. All right, so we've got our solution in here. Now, Chris, what I want you to do is just to kind of mix it all together without squishing it together too much, but we just want to... And if you have time to do this at home, mm -hmm. um, you can actually let it sit for about 20 minutes, and that will increase the yield of the DNA that you get. Okay. But doing this is good. Yeah, keep going there. So right now, the dish... Soap is breaking down the lipids and the fats on the outside of our cells there. Okay. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Okay, this is good. So you don't want it to be too see-through here. You don't want it to be too watery. Okay. Okay, so the next step here, we have a coffee filter, and we are going to pour our solution into the coffee filter. Do you want to go ahead and do that? Yeah, I guess so. And I'll hold it here. So what we're doing The whole is, thing? Yeah, the whole thing. We're separating all that plant matter that's in there. We don't want the chunky stuff is what you're telling me. Exactly. We want the liquid, all that stuff that was contained inside the cell before. As you can see, that's starting to come slowly out Slowly come down, yeah. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Okay, now we're going to pick this up and just speed up the process a little bit, squeeze it a little bit. Do you want to try it? Sure. <laughs> Pretty easy job. Just like I make the coffee in the morning. Exactly. Okay, so that's a good amount of liquid there. Keep going. So right here, this is the liquid and all that stuff that was on the inside of the cell, including our DNA. Okay. We're just separating it from the plant matter there. So that's perfect. Go ahead and toss it over here. This one? Yep. So now the DNA is there, but we got to pull it out. We got to make it seen. Now, all right. right. We need science here. We do. So Come we're to actually going to use. <laughs> we're going to use ethyl alcohol, but if you're doing this at home, you can actually just use rubbing alcohol. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour it, and we have about 50 milliliters of our fruit water here, fruit liquid, and we want about the same amount of our alcohol on the top. Okay. Now Chris, let's look really closely here. So at the bottom we've got our fruit, at the top we've got the rubbing alcohol, and right there in the middle, that is our DNA. Really? It is. What's it? It I'm looks... impressed. <laughs> I think we had a close-up shot of this too. We can actually see the DNA. We can, and we can pull it out too. So I'll show you the technique first. Okay. What we're going to do is use this, or we'll use the sharp end. Okay. We're going to stick it into a big patch of it and twirl it around pretty quickly like cotton candy, right? Okay. We're going to pull it up. And here is our DNA. Very cool. Very cool. You can try it too if you want. And it get, it's better. stringy it like is that stringy. in nature? Um, well, DNA is actually pretty separate, but because of the salt that we put in our dishwater solution, the salt 
the sodium on it helps bind them together. It looks kind of like snot, right? And I suppose <laughs> if you were to take science, the next step you could analyze this under a microscope or I don't know, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Now, the kind of um, DNA extraction we did is a very dirty, we used our hands and all this non-sterile stuff, but um, in a real lab when they have sterile DNA testing and everything like that, you can pretty much use it like the CSI. How so. cool! <laughs> our CSI experiment for the day. Alrighty, well Amy, we appreciate it so much. You guys are going to be open actually, Labor, or Memorial Day. We are. So uh, 10 a.m., you guys are going to be opening up the doors so your kids are off of school, they can kind of head down to the Imagination Station, have a good time. It's going to be hot anyways. It is. Yep, 10 to 5 on right. Memorial Day. All right, Amy, thank you so much. Appreciate your time.